Have you ever wondered about the lesser-known figures of ancient Egypt such as Queen and Kesenamun? From the grandeur of the pharaohs to the pyramids' mystic allure, the ancient Egyptian civilization has always held a certain enigmatic charm. But today, we delve a bit deeper, past the well-known pharaohs, to an intriguing figure, Queen Anka Senamun. Born into royalty, Anka Senamun was the third of six daughters of the famous pharaoh Akhenaten and his great royal wife Nefertiti. A lineage as illustrious as this, however, was not without its complexities. The royal bloodline was so zealously guarded that marriages within the family were not only common, but expected. As a result, Anka Senamun found herself betrothed to her half-brother Tutankhamun at a tender age. It was a marriage of necessity, designed to preserve the royal bloodline and uphold the divine status of the pharaoh's family. But this was not an uncommon practice in ancient Egyptian royalty. The gods themselves they believed married their siblings and who were the pharaohs if not gods on earth. But it is not her marriage to Tutankhamun that makes Anka Senamun's story so captivating. Rather, it is the enigmatic nature of her life and her role as queen. Despite her royal lineage and her marriage to one of history's most famous pharaohs, her life remains shrouded in mystery. Precious little is known about her reign, her personal life, or her ultimate fate. This dearth of information has led to a myriad of theories and speculations, each more intriguing than the last. From tragic love stories to political machinations, her life has been the subject of much debate and conjecture. Yet amidst all the speculation, the true essence of Queen Anka Senamun remains elusive. So, who really was Queen Anka Senamun? Why is her story, unlike that of her famous half-brother and husband King Tutankhamun, so shrouded in mystery? As we journey through the sands of time, let's unravel the enigma that is Queen Anka Senamun. Queen Anka Senamun was born into a life of royalty, but it was far from a fairy tale. Anka Senamun, originally known as Anka Zenpaten, was born into the 18th dynasty of ancient Egypt to Pharaoh Akhenaten and his great royal wife, Nefertiti. As a princess, she was privy to the opulence and grandeur of the royal court, but her childhood was marred by political and religious upheaval. Her father, Akhenaten, is renowned for a religious revolution he instigated, abandoning the traditional polytheistic religion of ancient Egypt. He instead instituted a form of monotheism, worshipping the sun disk, Aten. This dramatic shift brought about a period of tension and uncertainty, as the populace grappled with the sudden upheaval of their long-standing beliefs. Anka Senamun's mother, the iconic and beautiful Nefertiti, was a significant figure in this religious revolution, often depicted alongside Akhenaten in the worship of Aten. However, Nefertiti's untimely death when Anka Senamun was still young, left a profound impact on the princess. Losing her mother at a tender age coupled with the societal unrest must have been a heavy burden for young Ankhesenamun to bear. Her childhood was far from typical, even by royal standards. It was a time of change, a time of revolution, and a time of loss. But it was also a time that would shape her into the queen she would become, a queen whose story continues to captivate us even today. Ankhesenamun's life took a dramatic turn when she was married to her half-brother Tutankhamun and ascended the throne as queen. Her marriage to Tutankhamun, who was likely still a child himself, marked the beginning of a reign that would be characterized by its own set of trials and tribulations. But that's a story for another time. Her life took a dramatic turn when she was married to her half-brother and became a queen at a very young age. Queen Ankhesenamun and King Tutankhamun's reign was a time of change for Egypt. As the youngest rulers in the history of Egypt, they were thrust into power at a time of significant religious and political turmoil. Their reign marked a return to tradition, a restoration of the old gods. After the radical religious reform by Akhenaten, their predecessor and Ankhesena Moon's father, who had replaced the traditional Egyptian pantheon with the worship of a single god, Aten, they were left with the arduous task of restoring the traditional Egyptian religion. This was no easy feat, but they were determined to honor the deities of their ancestors and restore balance to their kingdom. This young royal couple, despite their age, showed remarkable resilience and determination. They worked tirelessly to restore the many temples that had been closed under Akhenaten's rule, reinstating the worship of Amun, the king of the gods, and the rest of the ancient pantheon. In doing so, they won the favor of the influential priesthood and the hearts of their people. But their reign was not without its struggles. One of the greatest challenges they faced was producing an heir. Despite their best efforts, they were unable to bear a living child, a situation that threatened the stability of their rule and the future of their dynasty. 
This was a source of great sorrow for the young queen, who had already endured so much in her short life. Yet despite these obstacles, they ruled with grace and courage, their names forever etched in the annals of history. They are remembered not just as rulers, but as symbols of resilience and hope, a beacon of light in a time of darkness. However her story takes an unfortunate turn with the untimely death of King Tutankhamun. But that is a tale for another time as we delve deeper into the mysterious story of the sad queen, Anka Senamun. With the death of her husband, Queen Anka Senamun found herself in a desperate situation. Her world, once filled with royal grandeur, now echoed with uncertainty and fear. Bereft of her husband, the young pharaoh Tutankhamun, Anka Senamun was left alone to navigate the treacherous currents of the Egyptian court. In this bleak landscape, the queen made a decision that would reverberate through the annals of history. She reached out to the Hittite king, Supaluliuma, a move unprecedented in the annals of ancient Egypt. In her letters she made a plea almost unthinkable for a queen of her stature. She asked for one of his sons in marriage hoping to secure her throne and ensure the continuity of her dynasty. Her words etched on clay tablets paint a poignant picture. She wrote, my husband has died, and I have no son, they say that you my lord have many sons, you might give me one of your sons to become my husband, I would not wish to take one of my subjects as a husband, I'm afraid. Her plea however, would lead to tragic outcomes. The Hittite prince Zananza, who was sent to Egypt in response to the queen's plea, met a sudden and mysterious death before he could reach his destination. Some say he was assassinated, others argue he fell victim to a deadly illness. The truth remains shrouded in mystery. This tragic turn of events left the queen in an even more precarious situation. Facing potential threats from within her court and without a male heir or husband to strengthen her claim, Anka Senamun was at the mercy of powerful factions vying for control of Egypt. And then, Queen Anka Senamun disappears from history, leaving us with more questions than answers. Her fate is one of the great unsolved mysteries of ancient Egypt, a tantalizing riddle that continues to captivate scholars and history enthusiasts alike. So what happened to Queen Anka Senamun? That's the question that has puzzled historians and Egyptologists for centuries. Her life was filled with intrigue, power and heartbreak, but her fate remains one of the most enduring mysteries of ancient Egypt. Theories about her fate are as varied as they are fascinating. Some suggest that she may have been murdered in a palace coup, while others believe that she may have died of natural causes, or even in childbirth. Yet, the lack of a known tomb for Ankhesenamun fuels these speculations. While the tombs of her husband and her family have been discovered and explored, no definitive resting place for the queen has been found. However, the absence of her tomb doesn't mean that we're completely in the dark. Recent discoveries have provided tantalizing clues about her life and death. A ring, found in the tomb of Tutankhamun, bears her name alongside his, suggesting that she outlived her young husband. Furthermore, a set of broken pottery shards, discovered in the Valley of the Kings, bear inscriptions that mention a queen without naming her. Could these shards be from the lost tomb of Ankhesenamun? We can only speculate. Perhaps the most intriguing evidence comes from a tomb in the Valley of the Monkeys, known as KV-63. Discovered in 2006, this tomb contains several coffins and jars, and while it's not definitively linked to Ankhesenamun, some believe it may hold clues to her final resting place. In the end, the mystery of what happened to Queen Ankhesenamun continues to enthrall us. Her story, though shrouded in uncertainty, offers a glimpse into a world long gone. It serves as a reminder of the power of history and the enduring allure of the unknown. Queen Anka Senamun's story remains one of the most captivating mysteries of ancient Egypt, reminding us that every figure no matter how small has a story worth telling.